what to do youtube obviously the miami dolphins 2017 schedule has came out um honestly my honest opinion mm, it's, it's it's very it's very very hard to tell the whole win loss win loss thing is, uh, as my first impression but it, i'm not gonna i'm gonna try my absolute best not to do wins and losses this time like i did last year because honestly football in the nfl is like a chess match it's all about matchups anybody can get a win on any given sunday uh, just like last year everybody's expecting the arizona cardinals to make it back to the playoffs they ended up struggling and also the division that we that we're playing the nfc south um they have a they have some kind of curse going on where the worst team ends up going to be first place in their actual division and goes to show that the atlanta falcons are the super bowl losers so it is it is to be predicted that the falcons are going to be last in their division this year but hey that's all that's all speculation so let's go ahead and get started what the first thing that i actually look look at the miami dolphins schedule every time the schedule comes out every year is where is the new england patriots that's 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 the number one thing where are the new england patriots we play the new england patriots i like i think like the this whole last stretch of games is kind of funky uh week 12 and week 14 um honestly what i point out pointing out pointing this out you play the new england patriots wide after a bye week which i like that gives the miami dolphins a week off to prepare get some rest for the new england patriots and we're playing at new england we are playing at new england so that's a perfect opportunity to get a dub going going into the last stretch of the season so I, I really like that playing right after the bye week now uh home games home games that gives us the big the biggest advantage because teams coming down to play in that miami miami humidity is it's extremely hard to do players start to cramp up in the second half for the opposing teams and looking at it what we got we got tampa bay that's week one tampa bay they playing they playing florida they're playing tampa florida so i'm not really i'm not really worried about uh, tampa bay as far as them being able to be affected by the humidity tennessee uh new york the jets in week seven oakland uh in week nine uh denver week 13 new england week 14 and we got buffalo week 17 and at home so as far as those games go I, I really i really like that i really like that and of course the the home games in the back half of the season like it's good that we have buffalo last um at home it's good to have new england week 14 at home denver that's gonna be a tough one at home oakland at home so that's 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 pretty good like it's really that's really good and our most difficult opponents it's another thing i would like to point out um difficult opponents honestly based off of last year of course it's going to be the atlanta falcons even though my prediction is that they're going to be last place in their division uh but uh the denver broncos obviously they have an excellent defense you can't you can't really complain about that defense defense is a great the oakland raiders they're on the come up uh, honestly they would they probably would have been a super bowl favorite if Derek Carr didn't go down with that ACL injury but again we're gonna have to sit back and look at how Derek Carr bounces back from that ACL injury due to history where quarterbacks with the ACL injury don't really perform well a season after the injury and of course the Kansas City Chiefs the Kansas City Chiefs are always a contender so they're not going to be a surprise to me honestly they're not going to be a surprise and uh, another thing I, I like to point out this year we got a lot of prime time games a lot of prime time games we have the new orleans saints in london in week four also we have the baltimore ravens in week eight uh that's i believe that's the that's the nfl network game thursday night football we got the raiders on nbc sunday night football and we have the panthers on espn monday night like I guess we show, we show we show the networks enough. I guess we were an exciting team this year because it was it's like pulling teeth for the Miami Dolphins to actually get on a in a prime in a prime time game. But we got like four this year. Like I'm so excited. Like everybody around the world, around 
um, the U.S. can actually see how talented the Miami Dolphins are and gives our, us, our players, the Miami Dolphins players, the opportunity to show them how talented they are. Like, they don't know how, how important that is for us to have that. Like, for example, the Pro Bowl. Rashad Jones was a, was a, was a backup. He should have been a starter two years ago. This him being on primetime football gives him the opportunity for people to see how good he really is and get the opportunity to get their votes in for for more Miami Dolphins to be in the Pro Bowl. But that's just an example. But it's it's good to have it's good to have Miami Dolphins game on primetime because if you live outside of Miami or outside of Florida, it's extremely difficult to get Miami Dolphins games. It's difficult to get Miami Dolphins games. Um, played in, on, on your local tv on your local tv showings so that, that, that that's 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 excellent uh playoff implications games with playoff implications which means is basically the games coming down the stretch where everybody's trying to get get into that that wild card the playoff hunt you know what i'm talking about all in the bubble look at it we got denver they possibly could be be on the bubble in the playoff on the Buffalo Bills. I'll never rule the Buffalo Bills out. They they give us issues. I'm not gonna lie. The Kansas City Chiefs they're in the bubble always. So like I like I like how that I like how we end up having to play those guys coming in the last the last stretch of the season. Um, so we can end up either giving them a couple of losses. So it give, give gives us momentum as far as if we end up having to get into the wild card, which is a pretty good chance because everybody's writing us off due to the New England Patriots. Honestly, I agree with Jarvis Landry, by the way. I think that we can sweep the New England Patriots. I think we can. But uh, me personally, I'm, I'm circling this Baltimore Ravens game. Like we have issues with the Baltimore Ravens and it's in Baltimore. And yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys know that I live in Maryland. So I'm going to try I'm going to try my absolute best to make this game. It's a prime time game. Y'all might even see me on TV. Y'all literally might see me on TV. Uh but uh yeah, like honestly, if I was to project a record for us, I would probably say 11 and 5. I'll probably say 11 and 5. Like honest, like I told you earlier at the beginning of the video, I wasn't going to sit back and project wins and losses, but I can't I can I help myself. Like we got Tampa Bay. I think we could we could edge out that dub at home and we go on the the um, it's the Los Angeles Chargers. I was about to say the uh the San Diego Chargers. I, we could we could handle the Chargers. That's no problem. We got the Jets. Come on now. We could we could handle the Jets. New Orleans New Orleans coming to our house. Ah, that might be a tough one. Us, their defense is not that great, but hey, and a lot can happen between now and the beginning of the season. And also, us getting in that shootout with Drew Brees, can we do it? Uh, that's that's a tough one. That's, I'm I'm on the fence about that one. I'm literally on the fence about that one. But I guess I, I can rule that one as a loss. Tennessee, when I watched Tennessee last year when we played them, I wasn't. It, I, I thought I thought we could have won that game, but that offensive line that we had last year at that time was just just horrendous. Now Atlanta, ah, again, if we're going off last year, I think we 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 might end up taking that L. And they got the Jets again. Honestly, I think we could sweep the Jets. We could sweep the Jets, no problem. Um, Baltimore, the Ravens, in Week Eight, that's gonna be a tough one. That's literally gonna be a tough one, but. If I was, I'm gonna say since, since I'm trying to go to that game, they got their good luck charm in Baltimore. I'm gonna fuck some shit up. I'm gonna take us in that game. Oakland, that's another tough one. We at home, another prime time game. I, I, I gotta, I gotta give it to Oakland. I literally gotta give it to Oakland. Uh, Carolina, uh, not really sold on Carolina. Their defense is still a little bit suspect. Um, I take, I'm taking us, no doubt. Uh, New England right after the bye week in week 12. You already know. I already said that I think we can go ahead and go in New England and whoop New England ass. Denver, yeah, that's that's going to be a tough one. New England again, I think we could take them out. Buffalo, at Buffalo, excuse me. Yeah, I think I think we could take Buffalo out. I think we can. They ain't got the weapons for us. <laughs> uh, Kansas City, that might be another tough one. I think we would have to take that L. And Buffalo again at home, week 17. I think we could take out Buffalo. So honestly, how many how many losses was that? That was about uh, one, two, three, 
four. So about I, it was about four losses. Uh, but I, I just predicted five. Honestly, I, I, I predict five losses. Eleven and five. That's gonna be our final record. But uh, man, look at this calendar though. Like, not, well, not, it's not exactly a calendar. Like the schedule. I actually whipped this joint together myself. Took me two hours to do this joint. I'm thinking about printing this joint out and putting it on my damn refrigerator. But uh, let me know what you guys think of the schedule. Uh, also projected projected um, projected records as well. Um, but uh, you know what it is. If you enjoy the content, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is a great one, Devore. I'm up out of here.